You're very welcome back to the Six O'Clock Show where Susan Jane White is already hard at work in the Six Kitchen. Susan, remind us, what's on the menu tonight? We are having broccoli bites. Broccoli bites. Broccoli bites. Yeah. I'm like just about to say your hand. Yeah. She's making it all. <laughs> say, I like to bite, but I'm not too sure about the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we do? Where do we start? Sounds like a hard one to sell, on? but honestly, this has been one of my most popular recipes in the last year from okay. my Sunday Independent column. So I just okay. thought I would share it with the six o'clock viewers because it seems to be kind of meteoric. Okay. And it's broccoli. Who doesn't yeah. want broccoli in their diet? So we've got five ingredients. I literally thought you were going to save me. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm But I'm, o Sorry, I'm open Susan to suggestion. <laughs> right. If Martin was here, he'd be all over it now. You Martin, best be, boy be, class. Be like Martin. Right, come on. So, so you, you start with loads of broccoli. We start with loads of broccoli, but the thing is, we're going to use stale bread, okay? And most people will throw out stale yeah. bread, but I thought this week, given that our theme is sustainability, yeah. I'll share with everyone what I do with stale bread at home. I just put it in, um, everyone's got some plastic bag yeah. you can recycle, you don't need to buy a plastic bag for this use. So I, as I get stale bread, I don't want to throw it out, I stick it in here, stick it in the freezer, and I'll either use it for these broccoli bites, or for um, making lamb meatballs, or, you Love. know, just blitz up the sourdough crumbs um, until, or whatever bread you have, it doesn't matter, okay. until they look kind of like this. Um, and then into that, that's about 100 grams, and into that we're going to have 100 grams of cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you like, so long as it's either a hard cheese or a semi-hard cheese. So, okay. um, but cheddar, you know, you can get it in your local store, so this, yeah. this is quite easy. Put those together, and then your broccoli. This is about 400 grams of broccoli, and we're going to pulse that into a kind of a rice. Oh, right. I have steamed this. I didn't think that's what it was going to be at all. I know. I've seen these. Uh, oh. I've, I've seen your, the pictures of the ones you make. Oh. Uh, you thought it was just going to be broccoli. I thought it was going to be bites. No. Bites. Oh, yeah, dripped no. in chocolate. Dripped <laughs> in chocolate, yeah. That's what I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, these are, these are special. So today we're going to, as a glue, we're going to put pesto um, and eggs uh, to kind of bind it all together. But my husband really likes harissa and oh, eggs. Yeah. Really nice with chilli and black pepper. And honestly, they're a huge hit. So my children hate broccoli and they beg me for these Brilliant. broccoli bites. So, okay. Excuse the noise. Do if you thing. don't mind, you can do your jumping jacks while I do, do this. <laughs> <laughs> did the jumping jacks, I'd by the way. I actually did during, do them. During the ad break. We got video, I think. But I did. I and I could, I could see all the Maltesers and marshmallows I ate last night there. Okay, now, so that's, it's like a couscous. Yes, it's like a couscous. Look yeah. at that. Look at that vibrant green colour. And in that, there's loads of those beautiful antioxidants called sulfur pain. Sulfur pain. Sulfur pain. Ooh, it's good for pain. Sulfur pain. So oh. that's how you'll remember it. Okay. <laughs> um, it works like an antioxidant, so you're there, it's going to be neutralising toxins in your body and reducing inflammation. Um, so there we go. There's your mix, okay? And this is going to make about 30 balls, so... Um, and we're going to freeze them as well, so it's kind of like a lovely one to save you time, money and headspace in the kitchen so you're not cooking every single night. If you know these are in your freezer, um, it's kind of like a night off cooking. Yeah. And there's Every two time. ways we serve them. You can serve them any way you want. I'm not going to tell you how to serve them. But um, we like to serve them either on spaghetti um, with a bit of uh, pasta sauce and parmesan on top. Oh, right. Um, or you can do what we're doing tonight is sweet potato wedges. Right. And then maybe a little bowl of um, sour cream beside it to dip it in or ketchup or mayonnaise, whatever you think. So depending on your mood, it's either nuggets or a meatball alternative. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's to do. It, it, so it, that's the paste. Diet, yeah. Yeah. So you just threw two eggs there on top. I did. Um, you're rolling it in with your fingers and then, um, how are we on time? It's about uh, half an hour, two we're, minutes. We're on two minutes. Great. <laughs> two minutes, it's fine. So great, we're sorted. Okay, so. <laughs> we were there for a few, we were like, uh, we have no we're idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Just chatting. Just chatting in the chat. <laughs> so there we go. You've got a nice golf ball size of broccoli bites. Lovely. And you know what? This is really good for actually. And as I mentioned, my kids who don't like eating broccoli will beg for these. Um, fussy eaters, whether they be yeah. adults or children. Um, and I find especially children and play dates, not that we're having play dates now, but you know, when you eventually do go back to having the play dates, adults included, that um, sometimes feeding fussy people can be like stuffing a marshmallow through a keyhole. You know, it's difficult. Absolutely. So and these are, this, is, this is the recipe for you. Now I want to yeah. stuff a marshmallow through a keyhole. <laughs> You've already Just stuffed three. marshmallows. <laughs> 
couldn't stop with marshmallows. I couldn't stop. So we've got about a minute left now. I'm, I'm all over all keeping, right. you, keeping you up yeah. to... All right. Because okay. <laughs> all over the kitchen. Right, so we're going to get these ones which I made earlier. Oh, they're they're, they're, you just popped them in the oven? The oven. Yes, these oh, ones are going to go in right. to the oven for um, 10 minutes. Now, if you freeze them, you can um, cook them straight from frozen. Just cook them for 20 minutes. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. So at 180, is it 10 minutes? At 180, exactly, yes. Um, and you can fi find the exact... Um, quantities of ingredients listed on. Listed on six eats, my friend. Well done, Susan <laughs> Jane. Give us a look at your, your, your cauliflower bowls. I want to see your them. Bites. I know, here they broccoli are. Bites. I'm going to drop broccoli some bites. into a little... Oh, broccoli bites, not cauliflower bowls. Broccoli yeah, yeah, yeah. Bites. That's next week. We'll do the, we'll do the, we'll do the cauliflower bowls they next week. Look Susan Jane White, thank you very properly much. Properly delicious. Gorgeous. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Susan Jane, keeping us healthy, keeping us You're good. Welcome. And that is a wrap for tonight's show. Now, before we go, you can keep your donations coming in for the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland. All you've got to do is, and it's been coming up on the screen throughout the show, you text MEMORY to 50300, and each text is actually going to cost €4. Euro. That's memory to 50300. Uh, or head over to donateforDementia.ie. You can make a contribution there on the website. That's uh, donateforDementia.ie. If you're on your phone, on the iPad, yeah. on the device, on the laptop, whatever, log in and you can make your contribution there for as much as you can 30 people afford. a day get the diagnosis of dementia, yeah, which I just didn't know. We're doing this all week. We want you to get involved. Come on, join us. We're back here tomorrow where we'll be chatting to Superman, Super, Na Super Nanny. Get on the naughty step. Joe Frost is here tomorrow. We'll see you then. Have a bye. good night. Bye. 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 Bye.